RealAgriculture.com's coverage of Agritechnica 2023 in Hanover, Germany is brought to you by Optimum Gly, a new canola trait technology from Corteva AgriScience. Bernard Tobin here at Agritechnica reporting for Optimum Gly, brought to you by Corteva AgriScience. I'm here with Mike Easter from Precision Planning. Sir, how's it going? Hey, very good, Bernard. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by. I know this accent. You're from Calgary. I am indeed. A couple of I live Canadian... in Missouri now, but yeah. from Calgary. Hey, a, a couple of guys here talking. Um, radical Agronomics, a new program from Precision Planning, a new automated soil analysis laboratory. Tell me about that. So... There are challenges in the current existing laboratory systems. It's a very manual process to get an analysis. What we've done is we've been, we've automated the entire process from soil collection in the field to the laboratory behind us, which processes that soil and ultimately produces the uh, nutrient analysis of the soil. So it just automated the entire process, removed any human touches yeah and maneuvering within that system. So that's pretty radical. Um, talk about, I guess, soil preparation and collection. You know, you've sort of stripped a lot of stuff away here. Yeah, so typically if you go out into the field, whether it's the farm or an agronomist or a soil collection company that's collecting the soil, they need to collect the soil out of the ground. So they're using a hand probe or they might use an automated uh, probe like uh, a hydraulic probe to collect that soil out of the ground. And typically now they would put it they put it in a bag and then send that off to a laboratory to be analyzed. And that includes where that came from, what form it came from, where in the field it came from, and they'll all need to submit a submittal sheet that has all of that information. Using some technology uh, called a geopress, we containerize that soil in a reusable container that has an RFID chip in it, which records all of that field level data, including the GPS location that that came from. Awesome. So you, we know exactly where it is, where it's come from, and what about, now this is a, this is a moist analysis, right? Which is a little different. A little different. Most labs today will do a dry analysis. They'll dry that soil for as much as 24 hours, and then grind it, yep. and then measure what the analysis is in that soil. But in the lab, in our lab today, we actually use a water slurry. So we turn that soil into a slurry and we use the entire amount of that soil, not a small amount that we measure. We use the entire container to measure that analysis. It provides a number of different advantages over a dry analysis. Now you've automated the whole process. How does that change things? Uh, so if you send something to a lab today, that soil may be touched as many as 20 different times by a technician as it moves through different processes through the through the soil. And that human element can add error at any stage. Right. So it can it create inconsistencies within that. By automating that and using microfluidic technology where we can price, precisely control how much reagents are added to that soil slurry, we can in, ensure that every single sample is treated exactly the same without any introduced components by somebody touching it. What about overall analysis? Can you can you look for everything and test everything that you typically can? Hey, you know, that's a very good question. Currently, we're only testing for phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, pH, buffer pH, those then give us CEC and base saturation. That's where we have started. Uh, we have a number of new nutrient analysis coming out, but that's what we have currently today. Yeah. So that's where you're starting, we'll, we'll build on that. Talk about where this rolls out. I mean, I'm, is it the best right now? Is it a good fit for agronomists or farmers? So almost every For both, but yeah. one works for the other, yeah. the connection. <laughs> so almost everybody soil tests today. And depending on where you are in the world, that could be yearly, it could be one in four, it could be one in 10. And everybody decides differently how frequently that they should test soil. And in some places, the farmer is actually collecting the soil, and another, an agronomy company is collecting the soil. And in another, it, it might be just a third party provider that is coming out and doing that. Uh, so the technology today, the laboratory would typically sit in more of a central location, so maybe it's a agronomy service provider. It would sit in their shop, 
Uh, at the end of the day, they would bring all of these samples back, load them on the rack on the machine, and 24-7, the lab will run seven days a week and process one analysis after another. It takes about 15 minutes for the analysis to go through, but the lab is processing three different samples at a time in different stages, so roughly every five minutes a new analysis is coming out of, the, out of that. So depending on the size of the farm, it may make sense to have this for themselves yeah. or, or, for the, or the agronomist yeah. or an ag retail or any location like that where it makes sense where they do this type of service. Hey, I know uh, uh, you were in the field in 2023 yeah. with the new program. What were the feedback? What did you learn? So 2023 has been our beta production year for the laboratory. We have it out in a number of locations in the U.S. and several different states. It's gone very, very well. Uh, we're still in the process of finalizing and fine-tuning what the final production unit will look like, uh, but it's been very successful. Uh, those that currently have it have already signed up again for next year, and next year will be our first commercial launch. Right, right. So we're going to see it across North America and in Canada? We'll in see it across North America. I hope to have a lab somewhere in Canada next year. Uh, likely uh, a much more labs will be in 2025. Well, Mike, uh, thank you for taking some time at Agritechnica to tell us about this. We'll see you back in North America maybe be. next year. All, All right. right. Good stuff. Great. Thank you so much. All right.